And there might be some good news. Take a look at the radar. We are tracking yet again another round just on par. March just continues the active trend. Aspen areas to the north and east. We're starting to see some of the spillover rain showers across 25. You even see some convection, some of the thunder up to our north. Well, we could be dealing with a few thunderstorms for the metro and other areas. Let's time it out right now what we are keeping a close eye on. This is within the next hour and a half, I think we start to see just a bit more spillover activity. So wet weather begins to move in. Rain for the metro, rain for 25. The foothills overnight, we could be tracking up to about three, three inches of additional accumulations. It's very minor, but we've been tracking the system for quite some time a bit of a lull and then what we do see reorganization for the morning commute this is by about 8 9 a.m starting to see the second round really begin to develop so by tomorrow the foothills you've already picked up about three inches throughout the day on monday into the evening generally three to six inches will be anticipated what we'll pay close attention to rain throughout the day for lower elevations the plains the metro but it's by monday night into tuesday you see right here the Denver area, as well as the gap of the Palmer Divide, we change over to snow, so there will be some slick travel for the morning commute. It's no crazy snow totals that we do watch. Three to six for the foothills, one to three generally towards Castle Rock down to Monument. But what we then watch is the Sangres portions of the Raton Mesa. You're getting anywhere from about a foot or so of snow. So a touch cooler tomorrow, our pattern change, well, it begins to move in. So we do deal with unsettled weather coming to an end by Tuesday morning and get this, our first 70 degree days, they look to make a return. This is Thursday. There could be some 80s out across the plains. So better days, they're on the horizon, just in time for the Rockies home opener.